In this video, we'll show you how to program Pacer and how to create user presets. Pacer has 10 fully programmable foot switches, plus two external expression pedals and four external foot switches. With just one button press, you can trigger up to six switching processes at the same time. But let's start by simply modifying the Pacer Factory preset for Kemper's Profiler. The six lower row foot switches in this preset are set up for switching the Kemper's individual effects modules on and off. The switching of delay and reverb is set up for external foot switch control. That's what we will reassign now. We'll assign switch 6 to control the delay module. But let's play it safe and not overwrite the original factory preset. We'll keep that as it is. I'll show you how to make a copy of the preset and then we'll do the editing there. The copying process is as follows. Turn the data encoder wheel until save appears on the display. Now, press the data encoder. The display reads store. Press again, and now you can select the new storage location by turning the encoder wheel. Let's choose the very first one, A1. Press one more time to save the Kemper preset in the A1 memory location. Before you can start editing the Pacer preset, you of course need to know the right MIDI control change number, or CC, that is assigned to the delay module switching. You'll find this information in the Kemper Manual's MIDI section. The section includes a table that lists all MIDI control change numbers and assignments. Two CCs are assigned to the delay module. CC26, if the delay effect is to be muted as soon as it is deactivated. CC27, if the effect tail should not be killed after the delay is switched off. I like the second option better, so that's what I'll use. Now we'll have to assign MIDI control change number 27 to foot switch 6. Here's how. Turn the data encoder until the display shows CTRL. This is the control edit menu. Press the data encoder to select this menu. The LED in the preset switch will now start flashing. Next, press foot switch 6. The LED of this switch now also flashes. This means that the foot switch is selected for editing. Turn the data encoder again to access the control edit menu's individual settings options. As the selected foot switch is already set up for switching an effects module, you'll only have to change the MIDI CC number value. Turn the data encoder until CC appears in the display. Now press the data encoder and turn the control until CC number 27 is selected. Press again to confirm the value. And now turn the data encoder until back appears in the display. Press one more time. CTRL is shown again. Now you'll have to save your edits. Turn the data encoder until save appears. Now press the data encoder three times and the settings are saved into the selected preset. Foot switch 6 can now switch the delay on and off. Let's do something more advanced now. Let's create a preset to control the profiler performance mode. The performance mode is structured into 125 performance banks, with each performance bank offering five so-called slots that you can assign different rigs to. So for each song you could prepare one performance bank with, for example, the intro sound set up on slot 1, the sound for the verse on slot 2 and so on and we'll set up remote control for this mode from Pacer now. I'll plan to assign the following. Foot switches 1 to 5, select slots 1 through 5. Foot switch 6, switches the tuner on and off. Performances are to be changed with foot switches C and D. Let's start with the settings for foot switches 1 to 5. First, 
we'll have to look up the MIDI CC assignments in the manual again to see which commands have to be entered for slot selection. We'll need switching commands number 50 to 54. Also this time, I'll use a copy of Pacer's Kemper preset as a starting point. Two settings have to be changed for each switch. First, of course, the MIDI control change number and then also the switching command type. Currently, toggle is selected. That's an on-off function, but for slot switching, I'll require a one-time switching command. This switching type is called a CC trigger, or abbreviated CCTRG. Let's start with the now familiar procedure. Turn the data encoder until the display shows CTRL. Press the data encoder and select foot switch 1. Now turn the data encoder until type appears. Press and turn to select CCTRG. Next, press and then turn until CC appears. Press again and turn until you've dialed in the value 50. Confirm the setting by pressing again. Select back by turning the data encoder and finish off with another press. Now repeat these steps for foot switches 2 to 5, but of course with the correct MIDI CC values. Foot switch 2 needs CC 51. Set up CC 52 for foot switch 3, CC 53 for foot switch 4, and CC 54 for foot switch 5. If everything is set up correctly, you can now switch the five slots with foot switches 1 to 5. Now I'll edit pedal 6, and for tuner activation, I'll need to assign MIDI CC number 31. If you've started from the Kemper Factory preset, you'll only have to change the CC number as on-off switching for the tuner requires toggle type switching, and toggle is already selected for foot switch 6. You know the process by now. Turn the data encoder until CTRL is displayed. Press and turn until CC shows up on the display. Press again and turn the encoder until CC value 31 is selected. Press and turn the encoder until back is visible. Press again. Now foot switch 6 can be used to switch the tuner on and off. Finally, we'll set up foot switches C and D for performance bank switching. We now need to assign the MIDI CC numbers 48 and 49 to the two switches. Again, we'll have to change two settings for each switch. Turn the data encoder to select the control edit menu. Press and select foot switch C by pressing it. Now select type with the data encoder. Press. Then turn it to select CCSTP. Press again. So each switching operation now switches one step further up or down. Then select CC and dial in CC value 48. Confirm by pressing and turn the encoder until back shows up and press again. Next, repeat the procedure for foot switch D. Here you want to enter CC value 49. Now the foot switches C and D can be used to switch the performances down and up. When changing, a performance's first slot is automatically selected. We still need to save our new preset. Turn the data encoder until save shows up and press the encoder three times. Of course, you can save your preset edits at any time, but as long as you don't switch to another preset, your edits won't get lost. Done. Now you can use Pacer to select performance banks and slots on your Kemper profiler.
You can tailor the presets to your needs and also control many other functions from Pacer. For example, use Footswitch 6 to activate an effects module instead of the tuner. You'll find more information in the Pacer manual and online on our Pacer support page. You'll also find this preset for download. Thanks for watching.